Hello Sumo fans and welcome to another edition of the Sumo News right here on World of Sumo. From training reports, new exhibitions, possible triumphant returns and sad losses for the doyo, let me take you through all the happenings in the Sumo world over this last week. First up, a sad loss for the clay as on August 29th it was announced that beloved Brazilian Kaisei has decided to hang up his mawashi for hopefully greener pastures as an Oyakata, taking the elder name of Tomozuna. Thank you Kaisei. Next up, Kakaru is being honoured and given well deserved recognition by getting an exhibition of his career which will be held at the Kokogikan Sumo Museum through Akibasho. There will also be an Oyakata talk show featuring ex Hakoho, Shibatayama, Kakeru himself and some others. Next, I have some comments from the training session that Takayasu had at Asigahama Bay the other day from him and one from the Yokozuna. Takayasu faced Nishiki Fuji, Midori Fuji and Atami Fuji and a few with Terina Fuji as well, going 13-10. And Terina Fuji lent him his chest. He said, Everybody was very helpful and giving advice, and there was a really great environment. I was totally energised. The hair brought back memories. When I was just starting out, I trained here a lot when it was still Ajigawa Bear. I have fond memories of that, when Kisena Sato and Harama Fuji, who was then Ama, were still in my Gashira. They used to go at it fiercely. I was able to watch that when I was a young Rikishi. I was still under Makusta then. Asigahama Oyakata was kind enough to shout out advice at me during Kiko. It made me resolve to gamberize. I remember that well. Teru Nifuji faced Takeyasu for four bouts, going 3-1. He also faced Nishiki Fuji, Midori Fuji and Atami Fuji and went 9-2 overall and had this to say. I've trained with Takeyasu a lot since we entered Sumo. We didn't go at it wildly like we used to, but we did what we could. Next up, Ozeki Shodai has announced that even though he is about two years overdue, he is having his Ozeki promotion party at a hotel in Tokyo on the 23rd of October. Halted due to COVID restrictions and no doubt his shaky status at the rank, there is space for 1,000 people in the room he is using at the hotel, but only inviting 700 to give more room during such uncertain times. He spoke to reporters after a training session, saying how he is glad to be able to finally do it, Feels he is getting back to a routine after so much disruption due to the COVID the past couple of years and really wants to push for a Yusho as Ozeki and be in the title race this upcoming Aki Basho in September. At Miyagino Bea, the old Azumizeki Doyo has been demolished and a new Doyo has been set up with Yobi Dashi helping to make sure it's built to perfection with proper Tawara and Toko Dawara, ex Hakoho is wasting no time getting his hair in order for his guys to prepare for the upcoming Akibasho. Speaking of Akibasho, of course, the Banzuki is out everyone and I have it covered in this latest video where I take you through the Makauchi ranks. Check that out with the link in the description. Next up, I have a fun one for you all as former K1 champion kickboxer Masato Kobayashi, an absolute living legend who has his own YouTube channel and goes around and visits other sports, went to visit Asigahama Bear this week to meet the Rikishi and do some training with them, having some good laughs along the way while doing so. There is a link to the video in the description box for you all sumo fans as it's an extra glimpse into the Yokozuna's world over there in clan Asigahama and a great watch overall. Highs and lows for Takasago Bea as ex Ozeki Asanayama has been promoted to Makushita 15 East. This means that if he manages to take the Yusho in the division, chances are he will be a Sekitori by November again, finally returning to salaried ranks after a long suspension. But could a spanner be thrown in the works? As his hairmate Asano Waka tested positive for the coronavirus on August 29th, with the rest of his hair being tested as I edit this video, so as soon as the results are out, along with the rest of the NSK employees results who will all be tested on August 31st, I will inform you. Of course, with the Akibasho still two weeks away just about, no doubt negative tests will be had by day one for most. But you never know, and this begs the question, how are they planning on handling any COVID results this time around during the Basho, or will we see another Banzuke decimation? We'll just have to wait and see. 
And guys, that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And Sumo fans, always remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nagging. What a